Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So it has been some time since my last video. Um, so during this time I've um, made um, some improvement on the design, on the pick and place machine I have. Um, so the first one is actually I've remade this one. So I have uh, designed it to be uh, thicker here, so it will be a bit more solid. And also um, with this uh, strength bar, it's also more solid. And then uh, the other improvement is that I have made a casing for the camera. So basically, um, uh, the camera here I have a LED light, and when it turns on, it actually um, uh, shine to the surface to increase the, to to control the lighting. But then it also has uh, create a reflection. Therefore, I um, use um, this cover here. You can see I designed small cover here uh, just to avoid the reflection on the uh, nozzle tips here. And I also made the, the casing here. Um, this is to protect the wire because um, after movements this wire will, uh, if, if without the protection the wire will become uh, fragile therefore the connection will not be so good anymore. Um, so it, it will affect the stability of the system, so I um, changed that. And then the other thing um, you can see is actually here, I make a um, space. Uh, this is to um, use for, just to make it easier to mount the stepper motor, therefore I leave this space so that um, it, it, should, it, it can be easily put in and removed. And then um, the other improvement is that I have, uh, as you can see, put in this part. Um, so basically this is a um, um, like connector which uh, on one side can uh, screw to the nozzle head. And then on the other side it's, um, it, it can rotate and it's airtight, therefore um, I can put the tube here and when it's uh, actually moving and it will, this one will then rotate based on the uh, requirements when different rotation it will be needed and the reason for that is uh, and this tube also has some tension so if I, yeah, um, if I move, if it rotates some, it will also apply the force to the nozzle head and of course, because the smaller movement here will be amplified also in the nozzle tip. Therefore, um, I added this component and as a result, it become uh, more accurate when I move, uh, when, when the nozzle head is moving, so which is great. And of course, uh, you can see it's also able to move in, um, up and down with the uh, spring here. And then, um, with this one, of course, the other thing is um, I also changed uh, the design a bit here. So this is a previously is a metal casing that is used for um, the three D printer. Um, it's like this one. So it, before it was uh, it was mounted. Um, oh no, it was mounted like this to here. But the problem of this one is this is the, the metal casing and then it's not so solid and it's uh, able to move. So when this uh, uh, nozzle head moving up and down and touching the panel, then it will cause um, it will cause the, the uh, let's say change on the position, which is um, also not solid and it, therefore it will affect the uh, accuracy as well. So I made this uh, adapter here. Um, then it's um, um, it's more solid. As, as I just make it like very thick. It's like more than one centimeter thick. So it's very solid. And the good thing about this one is also um, you can see I have two hole and which is actually adapt uh, to the hop or uh, hole end uh, bat here. Um, but as you know, there are different type of um, the 3D printer and there is different type of screw or different uh, uh, position of the screw. Therefore, um, with this adapter, it's easier to uh, adapt to different type of the 3D printers. 
So, and also here I have a screw to attach this uh, new head design into this one. Therefore, when there's a new uh, 3D printer need to be adapted, I just need to um, put this one. I just need to use, uh, change this one, design of this one, then it should be uh, working with different printers. So, um, this is the, the changes, and then the other um, adaptation is that I made this casing, and inside here I also um, I also make a, a, a cover here. Um, this is uh, to this is to um, make sure that the light is not so uh, sharp. Then it's it will not uh, reflect too much on the components when it attach to the nozzle tip so it will then make it easy uh, uh, for the software to identify the, the edge of the components so it's uh, also make it more accurate to place the component so the other improvement is that i have also redesigned the nozzle tip um, the reason for that is um, i'm using um, this nozzle tip and I was uh, using the the other type of nozzle tip before um, like this as you can see I I also see a lot of people are using this one but um, the problem of this one is that the um, it's it's a metal it's a metal here so and you can see the reflection is uh, to the light is really strong and when um, using when we're using this to pick up the components and then when the uh, camera is just shining from from a uh, button um, it will reflect the lights with therefore it will also affect the components pickup so um, especially when you have like a 0201 uh, component when you pick it up you, the, the camera will see the side of this um, uh, nozzle tip and then it will also um, uh, difficult for it to identify the um, let's say boundary of the device and then it will um, make identifying the, the device position difficult therefore um, make it not accurate therefore uh, for this reason I redesigned it the nozzle tip I just um, um, modeled it myself and then you can see here um, it's uh, like a very small on the, on the tip and I and the size of this is 0.8 millimeters, and then I have a, a hole here. Uh, you probably can't see uh, with the camera, but this there is 0.2 millimeter uh, hole in here. Therefore, um, it's um, uh, the 0201 component will not be able to go inside, and um, it's also able to attach. Uh, the component, like auto auto or one component, consistently. Um, so this is uh, which makes me uh, really happy. And also the other thing is I make a, a polygon here. Um, the reason for that is to uh, for it uh, be easier to go in here, and then it will fix the rotation. Uh, because when switching the nozzle tip, I'm also using the rotation. Therefore. Um, it just make sure that it doesn't rotate and it's a fixing here so and the other is uh, the design of this one I also use the, the sliding so basically you can slide in and then it's actually fixed in the position so this is another um, uh, another improvement um, as using for this one if you pick up the components sometimes it's also uh, quite often it also has a component that is not flat attached to it but it's actually a little bit tilt and which makes it uh, also um, place the component in the wrong position and also with this one um, it's um, able to uh, pick up uh, so the component will stay flat the very small component will stay flat and so far you see I have a, a tape here that's um, uh, because when I'm using this uh, 3D printed uh, nozzle head uh, over time uh, it will be uh, let's say loosened a bit therefore I'm also 
uh, trying using another, um, let's say, material to uh, print. But they will come next. But for now, this is um, uh, good enough for me. So I also got a question uh, in the comment if I'm gonna share the design. So um, yes, I plan to share that in a GitHub. Um, uh, my goal is basically to help individual people to make the PCB um, easier, um, especially for the very small uh, components placement. So and then, um, but before that, I still need to make the improvement on the nozzle tip a little bit because. Um, uh, when usually when uh, placing the board and switching it's pretty good and I, I'm happy with that but then uh, when the power is switched off if somebody is actually um, uh, changing the angle a little bit and then um, because this we have the polygon here so when changing the angle the it will be a little bit wider and when it goes in it will have the resistance here which is the behavior I want to improve so this is something I have in mind so and then the other thing is basically the baseball um, I want to make some improvements so that it's easier to load and unload the tape here and then um, when that is done and I will start uh, uh, sharing my project here in uh, github so that uh, everybody can download and give a try so now I'm going to start placing the audio processing board. So now I apply um, the soda paste on top. And you can see this is actually pretty good. Um, I'm actually happy with that. You can see that it apply evenly to the even the, the small the very small pins here. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay. Now I'm gonna start. The okay, I have um, I have placed uh, the board over, and also I have put some components uh, into the board just for testing, and then uh, now I will start uh, the job. So. This is the board I have placed. I will then get into um, reflow. So after the placement and reflow, and I have my board here up and running, and I'm very happy with that. So yeah, if you like my video, so please subscribe it, and see you next video. Thanks.